be honest. High school was nothing like we have seen on TV. <coughs> Ever since we were all in elementary school, we've always wanted to be in high school. We always wanted to be seniors. And Hollywood has given this false impression about high school. The teachers are pretty cool. There are like no rules whatsoever. And the food actually does taste good. So I don't know if I was the only one, but when I was little, I always thought, I just have to go to school for 12 years, 12 years, and then I'm out. But then I made the realization that college exists, and then I got pretty upset about that. Um, now let's jump to Baldwin High School, freshman year. Um, the school is huge. I'm looking at the three-page map that we got in eighth grade and thinking, how am I going to survive this? How am I going to find where I have to go? So... This is my experience from ninth grade to right here where I am right now. Um, I remember coming in and watching the morning announcements and seeing Mr. Peebles come on and talking about words of wisdom. And now I know you're all probably thinking, like me, why does he come on here every day spitting out this wisdom to us? And it doesn't mean anything to me he's wasting his time. But I made the realization now that it actually does mean a lot when he does say that stuff. Like Mr. Graff, sometimes you, Dr. Harold, all the teachers coming on and saying like important stuff. And I really appreciate that now watching the announcements and thinking, wow, those, there's some really good points. Ninth grade, um, I was really clueless. I didn't know what I was doing. Um, I remember asking a bunch of seniors, hey, where's this class? And they'd say, oh, up on the fourth floor. And I would say, I'd flip to like the pages that go, but there's no fourth floor. I'd go and ask another senior, hey, can you help me find this class? No. Walk away. But I did end up finding where I was going, but I just thought that was pretty rude. Um, I didn't have a lot of friends. I didn't know where I belonged. Um, I was just trying to find out who I was as a person, where I wanted to fit in. And when I did find some people that I associated with, they were all toxic relationships. And even outside of school, I had a lot of toxic relationships between friends and family and even a certain relationship that I was in that was just not good, and thankfully I got out of that. Um, tenth grade, um, the next year, I was finally able to figure out where I was going. I was like, oh yeah, I know where this class is, I know where that class is, I'm pretty cool with that. And I actually helped out a couple freshmen, you know, some good mojo, good karma. And um, I made lots of new friends, <coughs> some good friends, that I'm still friends with right now. Um, I joined marching band, which was fun at the time. I made lots of friends that way, and it gave me something to do. Um, 11th grade, the next year up, was probably the hardest year of high school I've ever experienced. Um, you know, you're finally an upperclassman, you have a lot more responsibilities, like the SATs, the ACTs, um, just a bunch of testing and reading and finding out what college you want to go to. And I had no idea what I wanted to go for. I kept thinking, why do I have to make the decision now for what I want to do? I'm still only 16, 17. I'm thinking for when I'm going to be 30 years up. I just thought it was the stupidest thing. Like, I don't want to go to college. I don't want to have all these loans. I don't want to have to put my parents through all this money. And I was just thinking, one more year, and then I'm finally out of here. I don't have to do anything else. And I quit marching band <laughs> after two years. It was not fun. I made that realization that marching band was not fun. <laughs> And on to 12th grade right now, um, I have less friends than I did before, but they still stuck with me, and they're all really cool. I made 
made some new friends here and there, and it was actually pretty easy this year. I think we can all admit that this year was pretty cool, pretty cool teachers. Um, I got really good grades. I got high honors this whole time, A's and B's, which was pretty surprising to me because I haven't made honors since sixth grade in middle school. Um, I got my first job. I got laid off of my first job, but I had a job and I had some money. And that was really interesting. I got accepted to college recently. I am going to IUP and I'm majoring in psychology, which is a pretty big step for me as a person. I never imagined myself being here right now, going to college and being successful. And I'm gonna walk down that field and couple days and it's just surreal and um, 25 things that I realized that I wish I realized in high school um, that sit on your cheek does not matter skipping class one time will not ruin your life that boy you're trying so hard to impress will mean absolutely nothing to you in a year work hard and don't slack off it really does add up in the long run which I can really agree to um, Bring a couple snacks to class if you're hungry. If you don't care, if people hear you eating it in class, they don't really care. Appreciate your teachers. <laughs> really appreciate your teachers because they're trying so hard to give you an education and just be grateful for that. Doing and or not doing drugs does not make you cooler than anyone else. Okay, you smoke weed, cool. I don't really care, get out of my way. Um, neither does drinking. Talk to that kid sitting alone by himself. Even though it may not change your life, it may drastically change theirs. Um, participate in school events. Don't think, oh, wearing purple and white on Fridays, not me. I don't own any purple. I'm gonna look so stupid. Just do it. Um, wear sweats every day or dress up every day. Like, wear whatever makes you feel comfortable. No one will laugh at you if you sit at your lunch table alone for five minutes waiting for your group. Um, utilize the library. I never used the library in my four years of high school, except for this class, but we got banned from there, so we can't go there anymore. Um, don't wait 20 minutes to text someone back just to seem cool. Um, tell your friends how much you love them and cherish them and how much they really mean to you. Um, Cherish your free textbooks a lot. Don't draw stuff in them. <laughs> um, help confused freshmen be nice to them and remember how much you would have appreciated it a few years ago. I know I would have really appreciated it. Um, compliment the other girls in the bathroom, like that, um, what is it called? Um, Project Beautiful, is that what it's called? Operation. Operation Beautiful, yeah, that was really cool and I thought that was awesome. Um, that fight you had with your parents isn't really that big of a deal. It's okay to cry sometimes. Uh, don't let your desire for a romantic relationships stop you from forming platonic relationships. And lastly, remember that life does go on. So in the end, it does get better. I will admit that because my life has significantly gotten better from freshman year to year. Uh, I was not getting the best grades. I was not enjoying school life or regular life outside. Um, I would stay in my room all the time. I was just not like, physically or mentally healthy. But recently I got that letter that I wrote to myself for Miss Barna's class for freshman year and I read it. And I'm just so grateful for um, being so healthy right now because back in freshman year I was so miserable and I wrote that in my letter. I got so sad about that. So I beat my demons and I'm just really proud to admit that about myself. Um, so I'll tell you what I wrote to myself three years ago in my own words of wisdom. Um, laugh while you can, apologize when you should, and just forget what you can't change. Life is way too short to be anything but happy.